Hey guys, Dirk Bonzani out here at Harper Porsche. Thanks so much for watching. I wanted to uh, go through this absolutely beautiful 2022 Cayenne E Hybrid that we have. Uh, just go over some of the differences in the newer model here and uh, just point out the features. And a lot of you guys have questions about you know range and things like that. So I'm gonna just make this a quick walk around video and just kind of touch on some things. Um, if you have specific questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks so much. So here we are guys. Let me turn this fan down. All right, that's much better. So get in the car and you click your start and it will turn on to E mode. So right now we're actually ready and technically running. Now I've only got about two miles of range. You can see it down there in the corner. Uh, this car hasn't been charged up, um, but you can charge it at home or you can actually flip your sport chrono button, which is standard. There's the clock too. Um, you've got your hybrid mode and then you've got your sport mode and then your sport plus mode. Um, and the vehicle is going to actually charge while the motor's running as well. Um, it has uh, the regenerative braking as well, which is nice. So uh, best of both worlds. This thing is 460 horsepower combined with the electric motor and it has all of the luxury amenities as a Cayenne. It rides amazing. It has PASM, which is Porsche Active Suspension Management, which is right here. Um, I just, I love the way it's integrated on this vehicle. You get all the power, but then you can drive it around um, up to 25 miles, depending on heat and what you're using, how hot it is, how cold it is outside. Um, but it is nice to have that ability for local traveling. So you have your kind of electric vehicle with the ability for it to have the gas as well so it's nice you go on long trips with it enjoy yourself you do have a charge port that's why they call it an e-hybrid so when it's not running you can unclick this right here and charge it so you also get the green brakes they are upgraded this vehicle's a little bit heavier so you get the larger six piston brakes on it like you would on an s product these are the matrix led headlights these have been hard to get on new orders because they are um, they need a chip and the chip has been hard to get. So there's been delays on orders and all of these newer orders have been uh, coming with just regular LED headlights. The Matrix is the larger lens inside with the big four point LEDs, cornering light and auto high beam. Um, it's a better looking lens too. So beautiful ride. This one has surround view camera. You can see the camera up front there. It has the 21 inch wheels with the painted fenders. Just absolutely gorgeous color. I love this blue. We're gonna pop the tailgate here so you can check it out. So here is your charger. Uh, you can charge it on 120. Uh, the 240 is going to be a much faster option. Um, that's going to be right here. And then your plugs, I've had people ask me what style plug it is. They're actually labeled on there. This is called a NEMA 650. 50 is going to be your breaker. That's 50 amps. Um, this thing's going to draw no more than 40, so you're in good shape. Um, but basically, it has the 120 as well. That's just going to charge it on a much slower rate. So depending on how your plug configuration is at home. Um, this one has the mats in blue to match. I love this blue trim. And you can see the chalk interior looks amazing, especially with the panoramic roof. This one has four zone climate control. Um, and you'll see the stitching on the doors. So it's a full leather package. So everything on the inside, the door panels, the dash is gonna be wrapped in leather. Absolutely gorgeous spec. So your park sensors are in there. We talked about your surround view camera. Um, we got your blind spot here in the mirror. This one's already got tinted front windows. Panoramic roof. We've already got the uh, winter mats in here, which are popular. And you'll notice the heated and cooled seats here. And on the interface, you're gonna have your left screen is digital, your right screen is digital, and they're controlled by these dials. So you can move these to select uh, hybrid option assist. You got navigation in there, you got your miles. This has 750 miles on it. And then over here on the right, you can change this as well. You can put the energy flow, the all wheel drive, 
basically showing you the power is going, tire pressures, and your main vehicle screen and fuel gauge is right there as well. So this is the latest for 2022. They've got what the electric Porsche Taycan got. So the nav has been updated to a very simple, uh, there's your navigation, there is your music, nice simple layout, there's your phone, and it's just all right here on the left. And then you have your Cayenne vehicle screen, which shows your drive modes, all your assist systems, trip information, and uh, the comfort options, which are gonna be your LED lighting that are selectable, um, which is pretty neat. So down here, it's in dynamic. Um, we can set this up however. Get your blue, there's all your colors, and you can change the amount of light too just by uh, touching which one you wanna change. Pretty straightforward. So I like the simplicity of it. This is a fast system. Um, it does work with Apple CarPlay wirelessly. Um, and then inside here, you've got your cup holders and then your uh, USB-Cs so you can charge up quickly. But uh, beautiful spec. Um, your mirror is right here, and then you've got your controls for your panoramic roof. So uh, just a great layout, great driving vehicle, uh, one of my favorites for sure. And um, all these different driving modes allow you to kind of switch it to set up however you'd like to have it. So anyways, I hope that short video helps. Um, this is our certified pre-owned uh, Cayenne. So this one's going to have a six-year unlimited mileage warranty with it. It's a nice benefit on a 2022. So guys, thanks for watching. Derek Bonzani out here at Harper Porsche. Our website is www.harperporsche.com. We are all market-based pricing, so everything you see online is what you pay. We've got a $4.99 dock fee, taxes, and tags. Very straightforward here. And a $1,000 deposit does secure this vehicle if you are uh, out of state or you're somewhere where you might be driving in two or three hours and you don't want it to get sold out. That does happen. But uh, this is a unique one. There's not a lot of 22s in the market right now if you're looking at this video, um, depending on the date of this video, of course. But uh, thank you guys for watching once again.